Vijana Niaje, thank you so much for joining us at the Youth Junction once again. And as always, we handle very wonderful topics, mostly about the youth. This is our youth mentorship programs, and we've been having a wonderful time all together. Before we start our program today, kindly let us pray. Father, we thank you because you're wonderful. Thank you because of this moment that you've given unto us once again. We give you praise and glory and honor because you are gracious at all times, O oh Lord. As we commit ourselves unto you at this moment and our even as we're going to listen to this program, may you speak to us and may you enlighten us in our ways, O oh God, and we shall forever be grateful to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, do we pray, trusting and believing. And today we are also privileged to have a guest, Mr. Charles Njonjo, as we talk about the power of influence. Karibu sana, Mr. Njonjo. Thank you, Madam Rina. Uh -huh. I'm glad to be here, uh -huh. and it's wonderful. Thank you for giving me this platform, uh -huh. mostly to our Reverend George and yes. Pastor Monica. Exactly. I'm glad that they have given me a chance to share a little bit about influence. Uh -huh. I'm born again, yeah. married to one wife, mm -hmm. Esther Njonjo, mm -hmm. and blessed with one kid, James mm -hmm. Iduku. And it's a blessing that uh, we can have some time to talk to our peer and youth mm -hmm. about influence. Yeah, thank you so much. That was so beautiful. And let me just go right to our topic. We're talking about influence. What can you say influence is? Influence, mm -hmm. it is something that affects the change or changes the way you behave or the way you do things. Yes. It can affect you positively, it can have a negative effect. Mm -hmm. But we are the way we are because of the influence that we have had mm -hmm. in our lives. And that's why I find it very crucial to our young people mm -hmm. to talk about influence. Mm -hmm. Yes. So why influence, especially as far as the youth are concerned? If today you check on the media. Yes. People are going about how many likes do I have? Mm -hmm. Go to check to in Instagrams. Mm -hmm. How many pe are people are following you? Exactly. This is all the people, it's about the influence. Today mm -hmm. if you check Best Food Bora, you'll see mm -hmm. the person who has the most likes or mm -hmm. following in the mm -hmm. in the social media. Yeah. So when you talk about influence, it goes around about to who are you mm -hmm. and what are the effects that you're having uh, to the society. Yes. And being young, then we are mostly influenced mm -hmm. by the social media. Mm -hmm. And therefore you realize influence really matters a lot as far as young people are concerned. Mm -hmm. And we know the influence will change the way we think, the way we do things, and the way we talk, and the way we behave. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's paramount need that we need to address this issue because it has a great impact on us as a young generation. And does the influence only come from the social media? Yes. One thing we need to understand as young people, the Bible reminds us in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2, that do not be conformed to the standard of this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed and renewed in your mind yes. so that it can change the way we do our things. Mm -hmm. And by that, we need to leave the standards that are being there in the world and we adopt the standards that are according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. My besties, can they influence me in a way? Yes, your friends can really matter. Uh -huh. If you check on the peers, they really mean a lot as far as the young people are concerned. Mm -hmm. And as we live, we tend to move according to our age mm -hmm. and our peers. Yes. And when we relate with the long company, we know that we are going to read in the wrong direction. Yeah. The Bible reminds us that bad Moral. company corrupts good morals. Good morals. Yes. And we have, we have the friends that we relate with that really affects the way we talk. Yeah. If I want to know you, I'll know you by your friends, mm -hmm. who really determines how you walk, mm -hmm. how you do life, mm -hmm. and therefore it's very good that we need to know who we relate with mm -hmm. so that we can know where we are heading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. What are the effects of influence as far as the youth are concerned, and especially the youth of today? You know, influence has the ability or to modify mm -hmm. the way you think and the way you do things. If today we decide whatever we are wearing today is a new fashion, mm -hmm. then we we'll go... And you all love fashion. And you all love fashion. <laughs> yes. If today the person we follow most mm -hmm. on social media, yes. the best musicians, mm -hmm. if a gospel musician decide to wear a miniskirt, exactly. we'll all want to go by that fashion. Mm -hmm. If maybe the people we look unto in this life, mm -hmm. they decide they're going to be doing a bald head, exactly. or, or they do a short hair. <laughs> we as or young even people, rasta, or even rasta, 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 rasta yes. we all yes. tend to 
to go by that mm -hmm. because those people affect mm. the young people and they affect us. Mm. So the people we follow really matters a lot. Mm -hmm. And the Bible reminds us that we are the salt of the earth. Yes. And if you ever check, when you add uh, salt to the food, mm -hmm. what does the food become? It becomes salty, mm -hmm. but does not become foody, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because if we are the salt of the earth, mm -hmm. then we are supposed to make the change. Yes. So if the people we affect and we work with, they are really changed by who we are. Yeah. Yes. So we need to work out very well and we know who we are relating with so that that one does not change our way of living or even destroy our life because mm -hmm. of the influence that it has on our life. You know, Jesus stood up and was very particular about the kingdom and the influence. Mm -hmm. And at one point, when he was dusty, he told the followers, if any man is dust, yeah. let him come and follow me and mm -hmm. drink of me. Yes. Then it means when you follow Jesus Christ and you drink of him, then whatever you have drunk of him, then that which you can be able to influence other people. Mm -hmm. And as he was speaking to the followers, yes. he was speaking of life. Because in him, we drink life, and then when we follow him, mm -hmm. then it means the impact that we are going to have, and even we are going to uh, have it on other people, yeah. then it's going to mean that we are going to reproduce life. And Jesus being the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. That means when we are following him, mm -hmm. then we are in the right track, mm -hmm. and we are geared in the right path, because Jesus is the only way, yes. and the truth, and the life. And this is the message to all the young people, mm -hmm. that the bottom line, there's no other, there's nothing else. The bottom line is that Jesus Christ is a solid foundation that we can lay our hope and our life unto. All the other grounds are seeking sand. And therefore, as young people, we need to have a focus and to lay our foundation on the Lord Jesus Christ, having said the way, the truth, and the life. By foundation, does it mean, is it only about the way I was raised up or does it include my friends, or the way I live my life, my career or what? The influence and the foundation I'm talking about is that we are all around. Mm -hmm. We are both physical, we are both social, we are both emotional yes. and we are both, uh, we are all spiritual. Especially on the emotional part. Uh -huh. And you realize when you're talking about emotions. Yes. And that's a very sensitive part of our life, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to emotion, because we are dealing with our soul. Yes. And dealing with our soul, we know that the soul is corrupted, and therefore we need Jesus Christ to help us mm -hmm. to have and to be able to live right. Yes. Naturally, as a human being, mm -hmm. live alone, a young person, mm -hmm. we are all born and we have our soul being corrupted. And that's why we need Jesus Christ in our lives, yeah. that he'll be able to cleanse our life, mm -hmm. change our thinking, mm -hmm. change our way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And that's why Romans 12 verse 2 is very particular, yeah. that we be transformed in our mind. Mm -hmm. Once yes. we are transformed in our emotion, yes. in our thinking, yes. then, and then we straighten our lives and we have the word of God impact even in our mind. Mm -hmm. Then we can be able to live in the path of the Lord. You realize there are several factors that would affect us the way we live. Yes. Some of them being physical. Yes. You realize one, as you age, mm -hmm. uh, you have seen some people change their life because of their health status. Yes. They will change the way you think. Mm -hmm. Someone when he's old, that's the time he wants to accept Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and he wants to proclaim he has no energy at that mm -hmm. time. He mm -hmm. cannot preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. But he wants to change mm -hmm. because he has been influenced by health. Mm -hmm. You realize that, yeah. one, that one affects them? Yes. Some other people might be affected by the status. Yeah. If people don't have money, they behave different. Yeah, when they have money, mm -hmm. they do behave different because money has also a way of influencing the way money, people behave. Money gives people status. They get status mm -hmm. and they don't want to relate with other people mm -hmm. and they feel they have moved to another level. Yes. And that's why it's always very important. Yeah. When you have the right foundation, mm -hmm. it will give you a good basis. Ah, that's yes. good mm. on the foundation. And now, are there factors that influence our behavioral patterns, especially we, the young people? Quite a number of them. Mm. I'll just highlight but few of them. Yes. One 
our life experiences. Mm -hmm. We have come from diverse backgrounds. Yeah, true. And that one really determines who we are. We are the way we are because of our past. Yes. The life experience that everyone, like a young person, has gone through, if you are raised from a humble family, from a single parent, if you lost your loved ones, if you lost your parents, mm -hmm. we are the way we are because of the way we have been brought up. Yes. That one will affect the way we do things, mm -hmm. the way you handle the other friends, the way you handle issues in life. Exactly. It will really determine uh, how you do things. Yeah. The other thing is our culture. Mm -hmm. We come from diverse cultures in oh, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we are from different communities. Mm -hmm. Other people, there is what they believe. Mm -hmm. Now, that one being combined together will affect the way we do things. Mm -hmm. You realize if you go to states, mm -hmm. people do different things mm -hmm. different way. Mm -hmm. At the age of 15, 16, you have to be self reliant. Exactly. Here, mm -hmm. at the age of 25, mm -hmm. you're still borrowing fare, <laughs> which is not. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yes. So you see, the culture really determines a lot. The other thing mm -hmm. is the life events. Yeah. What have you passed through? Mm -hmm. What has made you to be the way you are? Mm -hmm. So the life itself will be able to teach and actually uh, change the way you do. The other things might affect us is some personal and emotional factors. Mm -hmm. Some of us have a different personality. Yes. And some of us are affected by different things in this life. Mm -hmm. So the emotions and everything that comes in our life really affects. Mm -hmm. Like as young people, mm -hmm. you realize some people, they are very good in football, others are way good in music mm -hmm. others are way good in so many things in yeah so many talents so many talents mm -hmm. so the things that they tend to do most and they are affiliated to also affect the way they do their things yes. and coming back to our emotions part sometimes because of our beliefs and our expectation in life mm -hmm. then it also affects the way we some of us we would have expected, maybe I was brought up in a good family, get educated, I get a good job, yes. I fly out. Mm -hmm. All those personal expectations really varies and affects the way we do our, our life. Yes. yes, and sometimes if those expectations are not met, mm -hmm. then they influence the way we make our decision. David, a young man, says and puts it in Psalms 37, verse 4. Mm -hmm. That delight yourself in the Lord, mm -hmm. and he shall, he, shall fulfill your desires. he shall fulfill the desires of your heart. Yes. And David gave a testimony mm -hmm. that he had been young, and even at his old age, he has never seen a righteous man, a righteous man forsaken. forsaken. Yes. And I think, and I believe, the word of God is true mm -hmm. and if the foundation is right then we can never go along with what the Lord has promised mm -hmm. and the foundation being that we need to have Jesus first accepting yes. him as our Lord and Savior then from there on we build on that foundation because one of the things that Jesus does he changes the way we think yes one you might think everything is about this life mm -hmm. Bible reminds us that there's life after death yes Jesus also teaches us about suffering as young people we need to know that suffering is part of this life so that we don't think that everything is bread and butter we mm -hmm. have to work we have to live every day's life including the quick six schemes that we normally have nowadays yes the instant we want everything at the click of a button exactly I want to get rich I mm -hmm. want to drive mm -hmm. I want everything that I need I want money yes everything I want to live mm -hmm. but we have even practiced today in gratification mm -hmm. Jesus took 30 years before he started his ministry mm -hmm. and through all those years Jesus was being prepared for his ministry mm -hmm. but as we young people we are so quick mm -hmm. we want to get that job we want to do instant yes but want, thanks be to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We want to move yes. the next minute. Yes, the next minute. Jesus transforms our desires. Yes. So that, as we, we learned from David, that David desired mm -hmm. that he delights in the Lord and the Lord fulfilled his desires. Mm -hmm. Jesus is there to help us mm -hmm. to transform 
our desires yes. so that when we are in his desires then it is not a big deal for Jesus Christ to fulfill the desires okay uh -huh. that is one thing mm -hmm. because it, it is so sure that when we live a life in according to the will of God mm -hmm. when his desires yes. becomes our desires yes. then it is not a big deal for the Lord to be able to fulfill them then it becomes a good thing mm -hmm. the other thing is that the Lord transforms our mind yeah he transforms the way we think mm -hmm. so that we value what val God values most so that we don't become so physical mm -hmm. and we have to have a component of faith and spiritual yes. in our lives mm -hmm. and it's very very good mm -hmm. as young people uh, we need to embrace the Lord Jesus Christ we need mm -hmm. to have our interfaith locked mm -hmm. in him yes. so that kama vijana si kuamka unataka hii it is only for your own gratification yeah. so that we avoid being self-centered mm -hmm. so that we can be focus on the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. Mm -hmm. How can we still influence others positively? Wonderful. As young, nirahisi sana. And we need to walk with the path with the young people. We need to first learn to listen to them. Yeah. If you want to influence them, first learn to listen to them. Get mm -hmm. to hear from them why they do the things the way they do. Mm -hmm. After listening to them, then we can be able mm -hmm. to change them. But you can't approach them and confront everything about them without first of all listening to them. Yes. So the first thing, learn to listen to them, get to know them, hear from them why they do the things the way they do. Then from there on, be authentic, okay. be yourself. So many people are living fake lives. Mm -hmm. Why? Mimi nataka kuwa kama jemu, nataka kuwa kama kevu, I want to be like Karo. Yes. And Karo is just a public figure. Na sijui Karo alifika Na sijui Karo alifika aje pale. Uh -huh. I just want to be Karo, but I don't know why. Ata tujawai patano. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> so you're living someone else's life. Mm -hmm. And it, it is, that is uh, pretty difficult for yes. you to. So you, you better believe uh -huh. so that we can be able to change uh, the youth. The other thing mm -hmm. is that uh, when you want to change people, you lead by example. Uh -huh. Don't do theory, do it practical. Usiambia vijana wachana na mihadarati. Na we mwenyewe? Na we mwenyewe ni number one. Na number one. Kama ni mihadarati unawachana na? If we say we avoid things that can lead us to sin, mm -hmm. we avoid them that can lead us to sin. Mm -hmm. As young people, we avoid. Unajua vijana sometimes, uh -huh. they will get to ask, how far mm -hmm. can I go? Yes. And I still be in the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Mimi kama kijana mm -hmm. is hugging bad, is mm -hmm. pecking bad. Exactly. After all, it's just... Peking. It is just faking. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. we, can we just go at home? Can we just... And we, when we are doing that, mm -hmm. we have not put the light. The foundation is very shaky. Yes. Remember, as young people, they are very energetic. Mm -hmm. So one thing will lead to, to the other. Yeah. So instead of trying to find how far I can be, and I still be in the kingdom, mm -hmm. the best way is to how can we approach the yeah. kingdom of God? Uh -huh. The Lord, the Bible reminds us that you draw me uh, near unto me and I draw, I draw near unto you. Yes. Uh -huh. And the Bible is very particular that we resist the devil exactly. and he will flee away from us. us. Uh -huh. There are so many desires young people have. Uh -huh. Desire to get rich, desire to have partners, uh -huh. desire to have friends. And those things, they really influence. So I think it's good if you want to lead the young people, you want to make a change in them, you lead to them by an example. Mm -hmm. You show them the way. And the other thing is we want to impact the young people is that appreciate the young guys. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of talent. Yes. We appreciate the good work they have done. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of positive energy, very good in doing artists, others are musicians, others are very creative. Yeah. So if we appreciate them with the work they do, mm -hmm. then we can empower them and also be great influence to them. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, as we try to win them, we be kind to the young people. Mm -hmm. And especially today's generation. Today's generation. Mm -hmm. 
because sometimes when we are counseling them, we might try to justify yes. that in our time we never used to do this. Mm -hmm. But it's good as young people, as we approach them, can we just be kind to them? Mm -hmm. They have been brought up in a cellular generation, <laughs> which is very instantaneous. <laughs> Every two, three minutes they have popped up. <laughs> they are not been brought up in the hard way. So their life mm -hmm. and the way they are brought up is a bit different. It may not be the hard way. Mm -hmm. So we cannot bring them to speed mm -hmm. like the older generation was. Yes. So we try to be kind to them so yeah. that we can win them. Mm -hmm. If you try to bully them, mm -hmm. you will lose them. So be kind to them, mm -hmm. you will win their hearts. Mm -hmm. But if you try to bully them, I'm telling you, it's an uphill task. Mm -hmm. They will just ignore you and they say you are an older generation. Exactly. Yes. And they will definitely walk out on you. They will just definitely walk, walk out on you. Mm -hmm. And you have nothing to do, you have lost it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very good when we are winning them, uh, we have that a kind heart to mm -hmm. an approach to them. Mm -hmm. We can go far with the youth. Uh -huh. Thank yes. you so much as we close this up. As we wind up, a good advice. Apostle Paul said, no one lives unto himself. Yes. And he said in Romans 14, verse 7, no one lives to himself and no man dies to himself. That means whatever you have lived, yes. it's because a, of someone else who made an impact to you. Exactly. And again, after that, there are people who will live after you. Mm -hmm. So what kind of a legacy would you want to live as a young, mm -hmm. as a young guy outside there, as a young man? What kind of a legacy would you want to live that when I was young, I mm -hmm. achieved this? I was able to impact this generation. Yes. I was able to teach the teenagers the way of the Lord. I was able to teach other young people how we can live a life for God, how we can serve God in our young, generation mm -hmm. so it's good as young people we give ourselves to the lord mm -hmm. we don't give up mm -hmm. we don't tend to be so given in to the evil doings there are so many things that are around when we are young since mm tunataka -hmm. kwenda kupati tunataka kwenda birthday tunataka kwenda bash as young people and every other time those things they tend not to last for long yeah. and even and especially also to us if you are relying on your parents, mm -hmm. it may not be long lasting. Na kama hauna pesa, iyo pia is also frustrating. Yes. To sustain the life. Very frustrating. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's avoid those things that don't add value to us. Mm -hmm. Those things are short lived. Mm -hmm. The bash, the nini, they are good, but let's do it in the confinement and in the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that we don't do overdo things and they affect the way we do our life. I believe we've had our takeaway home today and I know we're going to put this in practice. We've come to the end of our program and I would like to request our guests to close with a word of prayer. Thank you so much for the time you have had and as we come to an end, just know that you have an influence. Please make it positive. Yes. We're going to pray and we trust the Lord to transform us that we're going to make a positive influence in our lives. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We thank you for the viewers, O oh Lord. And as we have heard of you, God, we pray for them as they make influence in the world, that they're going to make influence for Christ and positive influence in the name of Jesus Christ. Be with us and guide us, O oh Lord. And until next time, Lord, we pray that, Father, you bind us with unity and love of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Thank you so much. You can also share your views on today's topic and also you can leave your comments below and uh, we will surely get back to you. And until next time, I've been your host, Rina Daido, and uh, our guest once again was Charles Njonjo. Thank you so much and God bless you.